Hello, and welcome back. This is the second installment of the kind of beginner tutorial live narration videos that I'm doing. I hope that some of you are getting some good use out of it, and, you know, learning some things from it. I do enjoy helping you guys out. I know a few of you have asked me for some tutorials, you know, some beginner courses or whatever. I'm not a teacher, but I am doing the best that I can to help you understand. All right, we're going to be kind of remixing something from Thingiverse to make something of our own. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so over at Thingiverse, I have found this hook. And it's pretty well designed. I've printed these before and I hang my hats on them, uh, to be honest. So the first thing we're going to do is like it because, you know, show your appreciation. Then we're going to download them. Uh, I have already downloaded it, but it doesn't matter which one you get here because we're going to be chopping it up. So back in uh, Tinkercad, we are going to import it. You're going to click import up here. Choose the file. Find your file. And then sometimes it'll give you a preview here, but we're just going to leave everything the same and then go ahead and click import. And there we have it. So what I'm going to do is uh, line this up to the grid. I want these outside lines to be in line with the grid. And then I'm going to make a copy of it, move it over 30. Mm, let's go. Let's go 30. 30 should be enough. As you can see here, we're 30. If this changes, that means you've gone up and down. You can just click in here and type a zero and it'll line it back up to this. Now, we just moved it 30. And if you haven't clicked off of it, you can go ahead and click this again and it'll duplicate it 30 millimeters over. Uh, let me show you what I'm trying to say here. Duplicate, duplicate. Bam, those are already moved, so we don't have to keep doing it. Now, I'm going to group those. Okay, can you, do you kind of have an idea of how it's going to look yet? Maybe you've seen the thumbnail, so you already know, but uh, anyway. So the first thing we're going to do is check the measurements here. We've got 110 by 45. It's a little bit bigger than what we need, so we're going to take a box, chop these down. Go ahead and group that and then pull this up and that should be okay for right now. Here's one thing that I do not like about Tinkercad. When you're trying to make a square or rectangle with perfectly curved edges, it just doesn't come out like that. Like you can turn the radius up all you want, but you see, you know, maybe you like that. That's, that's not exactly what I'm looking for. You can see that the it's not curved like this should be rounded edges or rounded edges so yeah we're not we're not going to use that the way that i get around making that is to grab a cylinder turn them sides all the way up as usual then we're going to duplicate that and move it over now you see the grid here we're going to put this right on that grid see how we're perfectly in there that just helps us line up later and then this one we can go ahead oh, it looks like it's already there yep now we're gonna take a block we're gonna bring this over we want to go to the very center see we're one above and if you can see that you see this line this is the center line for this circle and this one's off, we want to bring it to the center line. Now, we can go ahead and group all of those, and voila, we have perfectly curved edges. So we're going to go ahead and make this 110, because that's what this is, and then we're going to make this 45. Perfect. Now, doesn't that look better than this? See how it's not curved? Looks a lot, looks quite a bit better. All right, anyway, we're going to bring this over. We are going to align these 
to the center and to the center here. You can see we've got some overhang, that's okay. Let's drop these down so that they are flush with the top. Now, what are we gonna do about all this excess? We're gonna grab a box. If we grab the top and pull it under the bed, we know that we are flush with the bottom of the bed. But anyway, we wanna come up a little because it's not all flush with the bottom of the bed. Then we're going to grab the box, drag it so that it covers all of the stuff we don't want. And now select the box and the hooks. If you hold shift, you can click the box and you can click the hooks. You don't want to select this because, well here, I'll just show you. If you select it all and you group it, you see that we took a notch out of there. Yeah, it doesn't look very good. So we're gonna control Z or hit the back arrow, take that back. Now we wanna click off because everything is selected. So we're gonna click off and then click the box and then click the hooks and then group those and voila. Oh, we left, we left a little nugget over here. So let's go ahead and stretch the box a little more. Select them both and group. And there we go. Perfect. Now, align these again. Center, center. Now, it's fine the way it is, but we want to customize this a little bit, right? So let's grab this, pull it down, and then we're going to grab the text. Set it out there. We're going to type in keys in all caps. Tinkercad gives you a few different fonts to choose from, so you can decide for yourself. Or if you want to use a different font, the easiest way to do that is to create an SVG, which I have another video that I will post a link to how to do that. Anyway, you create an SVG and you import it in with whatever font you want. But for now, we're going to use this. So turn it into a hole, then we'll bring it over. And we know that this is three millimeters, so we want to bring this up three millimeters. See, we brought it up three, that way we know it's flush to the top. And then we're going to drop it down. Uh, let's go one and a half. It'd be a half of that. Now that we've brought it in one and a half, we're going to look around, see we're kind of touching the hook here. We don't want to do that. So we're going to have to bring it up some, just so that it's not touching the hooks. And that looks pretty good. And then we can go ahead and align everything to center this way. That way where it says keys is directly in the middle of this oval shape. And then we can just go ahead and group everything. Perfect. Now, we're going to need a way to hang this on the wall. So if you remember in my last tutorial how to countersink the screw, we grab the cylinder, turn the sides all the way up. I'm going to drop this down to five. If you hold shift and move one of these boxes, everything will move. We will go to five and uh, we'll pull this up just a little bit. That's just so that we can grab it easier and, you know, see it better. Doesn't need to be super tiny. And then we're going to make a duplicate of that, pull it up and we're going to bring this out seven or eight. This really depends, again, on the, the size of your screws. So I know that mine, the 5 is plenty, and then the 7 or 8 will work just fine for the countersink, for the head of the screw. So we're going to, this doesn't need to be this tall, we're going to group those two. We'll bring it over here, somewhere where it sits pretty good. It's not touching the hook, and it's not going over the edge. Let's see about right there. So we're going to drop this down until this outer circle is flush with the top of this, this back plate. Then we can go down. We know this is three millimeters thick, so we don't want to go too far. See, we're at one, negative one now, so let's go negative 1.25, should be plenty. Okay, and once we're happy with the placement there, we can go ahead and make a duplicate. And we can drag that over, try to line it up, keep it in line. Now, 
what we can do to make sure we're in the same spot let's take this pull it out one okay you see how our edge is right there bring it in we know we went in one so if we go over here and try to mimic that we'll bring it out okay it's just barely sticking out we'll come in one now if you want to align these like let's say when you drag this it ended up way over here and you want it to be in perfect line with that the easiest way to do that so that this one doesn't move is to click that one hit the lock and then you can go ahead and click this one as well hold shift to click them both and then you click the align buttons and you will align like this even if you don't lock it the way that you can do that is to click this one before you click align now that one will align to this one so whichever one you click you'll be aligning to or you can lock the one that you want to align to and do it that way either way will work it's up to you you know sometimes I switch between the two you may do that or you may prefer one over the other uh, you know it's entirely up to you whichever you're more comfortable doing okay so now we know that those are perfectly aligned we can go ahead and highlight everything and group it and voila we have a very simple very easy to make very quick to make key rack that we can customize you can put your name here whatever you want keys uh, you can put a cuss word if you want to <laughs> it's entirely up to you what you want that to say and you don't have to do the rounded back if you want a square do a square if you like you know the shape of this whoops then do that you know whatever it, it's up to you I'm just showing you a path to take you can make it look like whatever you want you don't even have to use these hooks if you find hooks that you like better go ahead and you know use those all right, so let's jump over to Cura, and I'll show you what it looks like in there before we print it out. And here we are in Cura, and as you can see, for anything like this that's, you know, not something that needs to be pretty, I just go ahead and put it on low quality. Uh, the infill on this is 50% because I want there to be strength in these hooks. 50 might be, you know, overkill. You can decide for yourself. 50, I'm okay, I'm comfortable with 50. It's going to take two hours and seven minutes, which is fine by me. Let's print it out and hang it up and get some keys on it. Okay, and here it is printed out. It looks pretty good, and as you can see, it's holding the keys very well, I guess. <laughs> it's doing the job that it was intended for. If you like this video, you know what to do. Leave a like, leave a comment, let me know if there's something you would like me to change. I try to make these two or three days before I post them, so if your comment gets in before then, I should address it in the following video. Uh, if not, it'll be the next one. And with that, I appreciate you tuning in, catch you in the next one, and as always, have the best day ever.